Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperx here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video, and we have some absolutely exciting news to talk about in this video regarding the next season of Ninjago, Ninjago Season 10. As you hopefully know, today at San Diego Comic Con, there was a Ninjago panel, more specifically for Seasons 9 and a sneak peek for 10. You probably saw the video on my channel a few days ago about the sneak peek that Tommy Andreessen had put out, and at this panel, Tommy Andreessen, as well as three different voice actors, talked about Season 9, as well as what will be coming for Season 10. So be sure to stick around for this entire video so you guys do not miss out on anything. There's some crazy things that are going to be happening in what could be the last season of Ninjago. Let's start off the video by talking about Jay, or more specifically Jay and Nia. Everybody could basically assume that Season 10 had a very large role that Jay and Nia were going to fill. And although it does not really seem like Jay is going to be evil, or even Nia is going to be evil, in fact, it is that Jay is going to be proposing to Nia. So of course, these two little medallion images that have been circulating around, we obviously now know because of the exclusive San Diego Comic Con footage, or a special clip that they show to attendees, it actually shows a very early animation render of Jay practicing his proposing skills in front of Kai. Of course, Kai being Nia's brother, it really makes sense that you'd be practicing in front of him. From what we know now, most certainly the sneak peek that we were seeing was actually a medallion of maybe, I guess you could say, love or affection for someone whenever you propose. So instead of a ring, Jay is going to give this medallion as a yin and a yang, which yin and yang go together and they work in harmony. And so basically, it makes a lot of sense as that being something that you propose with. From this short clip, we get to see Kai helping Jay and giving him advice on how to, I guess you could say, appeal to his sister whenever he is proposing. Now, whether this is actually proposing for wedding or proposing for something that Ninjago does in cultural aspects, I don't know, but I'd have to say it's gotta be something close to wedding. From this clip, we really get to see these two ninjas brotherly bond that they have created over the years, and of course, Kai really wanting Jay to be successful with her sister Nia, and of course, a successful proposal. And Kai finishes off the demonstration with the phrase, would you be my Yang? And this is a very interesting concept here that I really like LEGO implementing rather than it be a ring or something like that, especially since LEGO figures couldn't have a ring on their fingers anyways. So in short, I hope the best for Jay, I assume it will be the best for Jay in this season, but of course right now from just this clip, who knows if Nia said yes, I can hopefully assume that she would, but we always still need to keep an open mind, and well, we'll see a bit later on. Next up, I want to talk about the upcoming episodes for Season 10 of Ninjago. We're going to be getting over 6 hours of episode length here which is absolutely crazy and that's only in four episodes so we're gonna have some very long episodes almost like mini movies which I think is going to be very very cool and really just emphasizes the fact that this is most likely going to be the finale of the entire Ninjago cartoon TV show as a whole which I know is sad to think about but as we get more information I'll maybe do a separate video on that explaining a bit more Another interesting and important aspect to point out here is the fact that Ninjago Season 9 Hunted ended on Episode 94, and so since we're going to be getting 4 episodes in Season 10, that'll bring us to 98. But of course, remember we had those two pilot episodes back in 2011, and that brings us to the nice round number of 100. And lastly, I want to talk about the structure of Season 10 and discuss a few possible theories that have been floating around for the past week. First off, there's a very large possibility that Season 10 may span the entire year of 2019. Especially if this is the final season of Ninjago, they may want to stretch it out a bit, and those four episodes that we were talking about earlier may be put each quarter of the year. And so, kind of like in Rebooted, whenever we got the episodes all split up throughout the entire year, that may be what we may see for Season 10 of Ninjago. Of course, these episodes would be very, very long, like I've discussed, but it's a very, very likely possibility. 
Now, if LEGO were to do a year-long Season 10, we would most likely get two waves of sets, which would open the door to endless possibilities of different sets we would be able to get. Now, this is definitely not confirmed. All this part at the end of the video is all speculation, but there's a lot of talk going around of flashbacks. Now, whether the flashbacks are going to be in the episodes in the ones leading up to the finale, or if the finale is going to have a lot of flashbacks, there are even rumors like the Brick fan noted on Twitter that the Golden Ninja may make a return, which is absolutely huge. Now, I'm not exactly sure if they're talking about the Golden Dragon Master or Wu from Season 9, or if they're actually talking about Lloyd with his golden powers that may come back for Season 10 in that finale, somehow relating to do with Garmadon and other things like that. So that'll be very interesting to see, and you guys can let me know once again your guys' opinions on that down below. Now jumping back to the sets really quickly, there have been a lot of speculation and rumors going around about these sets and about them actually being remakes of previous season sets or possibly sets that we never got but were very beneficial and impactful to the TV show, such as the Ice Temple from the very first wave of Lego Ninjago, of course, where the Shurikens of Ice were located. So really, all this is up in the air, we'll learn a lot more in the coming weeks, and whenever we do, I'll update you guys with another video, of course. Now, one more thing I do want to add in is another tweet that the Brick fan tweeted out, and it actually says that Tommy and Drayson stated that they like to kill off and then bring back characters for Ninjago. And so this raises a whole new question of who is coming back that had previously passed away in the seasons. Of course, spoiler alert if you guys have not already seen season 9, Mr. E dies in that season, Harumi also dies in that season, Mistaki, technically oh, there's a lot of speculation that she did most definitely die in the season as well. That's three characters in one season, which is ridiculous. And of course, in previous seasons, we've had different enemies like Pythor that have been deceased now. And so bringing back all of these, kind of like a Day of the Departed sort of feel, would be really, really interesting. Now, once again, that may just be through flashbacks, and we don't really know when that'll be during the episodes. But for now, I think that's enough information to chew on for a bit. So I know that was a lot of information to cover in one video, however, I thought it was more appropriate to combine all the San Diego Comic Con news all together into one, just as a very large video, instead of multiple smaller ones, and I thought it would be more convenient for you guys as well. But if you guys did enter my giveaway for the Stormbringer Dragon Set, then stay on this video and stay tuned because we're about to choose a winner. Alright, the time has finally come to choose a winner for the LEGO Ninjago Stormbringer set giveaway. First off, I just want to say good luck to everyone who entered, and of course, if you do not win this giveaway, keep in mind that there will be another giveaway coming very soon on this channel, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Make sure you still have those notifications turned on so you guys are notified whenever that does happen. But without further ado, let me quickly explain how the winner selection is going to work. I've posted seven videos and that announcement video of the official giveaway for a total of eight. You could have entered on all of those, so that is our eight different videos. I'm going to go to a random number generator website and generate a random number between one and eight. And whatever number that is, that's the video I'm going to be taking the URL, putting it into a random comment picker, and then picking the winning comment. I will make sure to check that the winner is subscribed to my channel to make sure that they are in fact eligible to win, and then that will be the winner of the giveaway. So let's go ahead and jump right into it right now. Here I am on random.org, I've put in the minimum being at 1, maximum being 8, we're going to generate and whatever comes up, 5, 5 is going to be the number of the video that we're going to be taking the comments from. So here we're back to the list of videos that I've put out. And since we got a 5 randomly generated, we're going to go to the 5th video. Having this one being the first one, the announcement of the giveaway. Here is 3, 4, and 5. So the giveaway winner will come from this video right here that's highlighted. The LEGO Movie 2 Sweet Mayhem Starship Set Images. 
All right, we are on the random comment picker website. I've loaded in the video URL and we have a total of 530 unique commenters. Now, if you did comment more than once on this video, do not worry, you are still entered into the giveaway. However, we're only gonna be taking one comment per person. Make sure it's a fair giveaway, which is very, very important for me. Let's go ahead and click start here and see who wins this Stormbringer Dragon set. And the winner is Nedka. So congratulations to you, you have won this giveaway. Be sure to send me a private message here on YouTube to claim your prize and so I can send it out to you. And for those who did not win this giveaway, do not worry, I have a whole bunch of other giveaway ideas planned for the near future, so be sure to stay tuned for that, as well as some really cool content video ideas that are gonna be coming in the next few weeks. That's pretty much it though for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this chance to win the Stormbringer Dragon set, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.